Welcome to South Aussie Shooting Channel. We are reviewing the Lock Alarm uh, purchased at home of 12 volts Northern. Um, these are 40 bucks and these are an alarm with a um, 120 decibel siren. Uh, the cable here which is still braid with uh, plastic around it and uh, uses a key to arm and disarm the unit. It's 1.3 meters. Uh, has a little special cable here that locks into the little position under the tab here, and to release the cable, undo the clip here. It doesn't come with batteries and runs off a 9 volt battery. It's not waterproof. They designed it to be sort of uh, pry proof, and uh, has a little uh, thing here, a little LED saying that it's armed or not and a speaker at the back here there's little mounting holes here for different brackets uh, that uses a screw on the inside of the face so you can mount it to a wall, pole or anywhere out of the weather comes with uh, long and short screws and ball mounts uh, for your wall so you don't need anything else has instructions here uh, the plate here to get off uh, this right here, there's two tabs at the top and bottom uh, that pulls off and to access the battery here which is right here there is a little screw under there and underneath that is the battery tray undo that and there'll be a little plastic uh, sheet around the uh, little tab to put on your 9 volt uh, to mount this every time to a surface you need to remove the cover and add the screws and adjust uh, the brackets that it comes with on the inside to fit whatever you want it to go to uh, it just says here about the alarm itself uh, place it through your objects uh, and then turn the key to arm it you can use the different wall mounts and stuff to uh, put it to. It says how to fit the alarm wall bracket and alternative fitting ear bracket and use of the lock alarm with the steel cable and um, it should uh, help prevent people stealing your valuable equipment. Uh, troubleshooting here um, if that alarm doesn't sound only makes a clicking sound when activated check the uh, that you got a good battery in there in the battery life i'd say the battery would last maybe six months or a year depending if it's activated all the time okay when you want to arm the unit make sure it's in the straight position using this end here place it in this little plastic bit that's hidden and uh, make sure it's flat. All the way in there use two hands I've only got one it may set off the alarm if it's not put in there properly once you hear a click sound turn the key and it locks pull the key out the unit is now armed and the lock is now on so if this is cut now it will sound the alarm when you turn the key on uh, that little LED will shine once in a while and uh, it will be left mounted where you left it or just leave it on the ground somewhere connected and excess uh, cable can be tied back up onto the spool here and closed back down and that is basically all. Uh, if you wanted to uh, set off the alarm, then you'd just uh, put the key in there. This is to disarm it. Undo it. Comes out. All you do is turn this to the arm position and hold it down, and the alarm will sound. So, disarm, 
Okay, yeah. Let's pack it away. <laughs>